Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa Parton, investigator in the Center for Chronic Disease Outcomes Research at the Minneapolis VA Healthcare System and associate professor of medicine at the University of Minnesota Medical School. I'm lead author on the paper entitled Factors Associated with Missed and Canceled Colonoscopy Appointments at Veterans Health Administration Facilities, which will appear in the February issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Because missed and canceled appointments can waste resources, increase colonoscopy delays, and adversely impact patient outcomes, most colonoscopy clinics are motivated to identify modifiable predictors of these outcomes. Our study took advantage of a unique national data set to provide some insight on this issue. Specifically, we sought to identify individual and organizational level predictors of canceled and missed colonoscopy appointments in a nationally representative sample of facilities. We explored this in somewhat unique sample of about 28,000 patients with diagnostic colonoscopy appointments scheduled to follow up on positive fecal cult blood test results at 69 Veterans Health Administration or VHA medical facilities. Our primary outcome was colonoscopy appointment status, a three category measure distinguishing between appointments that were completed, canceled, or missed. The individual level characteristics we examined included patient demographic, access, and health characteristics, and appointment factors such as season and lead time, or the number of days between the scheduling and procedure date, Organizational factors we examined included facility characteristics and colonoscopy appointment scheduling, reminders, and prep education practices gathered from a national survey of VHA gastroenterology chiefs. We used hierarchical multinomial regression to model the odds of canceled and missed appointments relative to completed appointments associated with these factors. Overall in our sample, 62% of patients completed, 33% canceled, and 5% missed their appointment. And there was significant variation in these estimates across the 69 facilities. In terms of predictors, we found that both individual and organizational level factors were associated with appointment status, but the predictors of canceled and missed appointments varied somewhat. Specifically, unmarried marital status, no personal history of polyps, appointment lead time, and opt-out scheduling, a process that involves mailing an assigned appointment date and time rather than the opt-in approach of requiring patients to call to schedule, were positively associated with both canceled and missed appointment rates. The patient age, the strongest predictor of cancellations, was not significantly associated with missed appointments and limited life expectancy in African American race, two of the strongest predictors of missed appointments, were not significantly associated with cancellations. Surprisingly, we found no association between appointment status and either clinical reminders or prep education methods. One of the things we found most interesting about these findings is that they point to several factors within clinic control that might be targeted in future interventions. Specifically, they suggest that developing systems to minimize the number of patients with limited life expectancy scheduled for colonoscopy could significantly reduce missed appointment rates, and using opt-in scheduling and reducing appointment lead time could improve both outcomes. Thank you for your attention to this brief synopsis of our study. We hope you enjoy reading additional details about the methods, results, strengths, and limitations in the full article.